Farmers across the U.S. are facing a new unknown in the agriculture industry. The ripple effect of COVID-19 is impacting several growers in terms of planting crops and distribution. Our Stephanie Poole talked to a local farmer about the challenges he's facing already. She is in the studio with us for that story. Stephanie. That's right, Andrea. It's not easy being a farmer. So much is out of your control. Too much rain, not enough rain. But this year, the weather is just one of those challenges. Howard Frasakari is the CEO of Pinnock Produce with Alexander Farms in Varnaman. In his fields, you can find sweet potatoes, corn, and soybeans. But that may all soon come to a halt. In our, in our area last fall, we had a wet fall and had a hard time getting the crop out and it was short. We have been wet since last November. We just got in the fields at the end of last week. The Sackery says with the threat of COVID-19 and excessive rainfall in the area, his production is three weeks behind schedule to bed sweet potatoes for this year's crop. And without a crop for the harvest, it will affect business from local buyers. We've got a lot of potatoes stacking up that are not being used because your restaurant chains are closed. Not having that consumption has, has really hurt us in the farming industry, not having those contracts filled. Those contracts will be short this year. Not only is Zachary uncertain about the vegetables he'll put in the ground, he's concerned on whether if he'll have enough seasonal workers to actually get the job done. We're, we're going to need all these other boys in the second week in May. We're going to be looking for our summertime crews to come in to do the actual planting and harvesting. If we don't get these boys, we won't have a crop. But his biggest worry stretches far beyond his yield. It's the rising prices and in international trade. With the markets, even overseas markets with China and things, we're not able to ship our grains to the other countries, too. So that's affecting these prices on us, too. It's really probably devastating to so many growers. All right, Fasaklery is encouraging all farmers to stay updated on the severity of the situation from the virus.